Hey everyone, it is the Sisters of Savings and we are here with the Hyundai Palisade. This is a 2022 calligraphy edition, so it is at the top of the line. It'll come in at $49,000 MSRP. We are so excited to show you this one because it is... She's a beaut. She's fancy, okay? And we're excited to show you all the features. Okay, so a lot of questions about, okay, what's the difference between Telluride, Palisade? Aren't they the same? Are they different? How is it? So one really cool feature of the calligraphy on the Palisade is this interior leather, which Jamie had mentioned, luxury, it is fancy. This is some high line here for it. leather detailing. I mean, look at the door. You can see that that and then also you've got a little chrome here um, and then I will show you the front because there is some chrome in the door that is beautiful as well right here then you've got this metallic silver here obviously chrome here so the detailing in this is a plus it is beautiful it is sleek it is extremely luxurious in this Hyundai. Another detail piece is are the wheels on this calligraphy. Those are just hot. Okay, I think the Palisade nailed it on the center console. This might actually be my favorite center console and display out of any of the ones we've toured so far for a few reasons. The first one is going to be the center section right here. You'll look and see the cup holders and watch you push it. Ah! And there's your cup holder. Ah! And if you don't want it, it just pops right back into space and you can have room to use other things, but let's be serious, we're using the cup holders all the time. There's a charging station and then you can pull this up and you have more space. If you don't need it at the moment, you can hide it. That's super, super helpful. Plus underneath, there's a storage for your bag or purse or whatever you might want. And I'm always fumbling with what to do with my bag and my kids are sitting on it or stepping on it. And I love that it's underneath has a little spot for that. So that's super awesome. And then I just think the look and the sleekless, <laughs> sleekness of it is super nice. The leather feels good. This looks super fancy. I'm obsessed. Also, because it's the calligraphy, we're gonna have everything really. So we have the heated and the cooled seats, which are always super nice. The heated steering wheel, automatic stop start. And then I'll show you the camera in a second. The camera view is super great. And then if you want to look over here, we have um, Sounds of Nature, and um, which is always a fun little feature that I like. But honestly, take a look at this radio screen. The screen is just super cool. All of it is just super sleek and fancy. Loving it. So I also love the camera. It's got the bird's eye view, which we all know I'm obsessed with. And I really like it because it also has a view on your sides. It's for, from your um, rear view mirrors, which is amazing because if you're in a really tight squeeze, it gives you great views. I'm obsessed with that. And then you can obviously adjust the brightness, but I love this side view that it's offering. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. If you turn your blinker on, on your dash, <gasps> I'm in love with it. That's amazing. You can know what's coming next to you. And you also have alert on your windshield too, but what do you need when you have that? And then you go the other way, it's over here so cool that's so cool okay a couple other really cool things is on this dial it has a few different options smart sport comfort eco snow we're from iowa so we love the snow mode what that's really going to do is put more traction in the back wheels when it's in snow mode knowing that you're needing that extra help so i feel like it's kind of like a all-wheel drive on steroids which is awesome then you have your other options, but smart mode is actually really cool too, where it can sense how you're driving and basically you're allowing it to adjust the way that the suspension and everything is going to work based off of how you drive the car. So whether you're touch and go, whether you slam on the brakes a lot, whatever it is, it's going to really um, adjust to that. So that's super cool super awesome. It also has some really good safety features, which we love. So you're going to have your um, smart cruise control. So that's adaptive cruise control. It's going to adapt to the traffic in front of you and can even come to a complete stop, which is crazy or near complete stop or pick back up. So busy traffic, interstate driving, that's super helpful for as well as collision avoidance and all of those lane keep assist and things like that, that keep you safe and sound. All right, so let's take a look at the middle row. This has captains and then it also has a third row. A couple things to mention, um, both captains are set up to clip in to uh, the seats with car seats, so you can clip in there. 
And then we'll show you in the back, but the, the third row has the ability to tether two additional car seats. So a total of four car seats can fit in the Palisade. Um, a lot of cool features with the seats. So there's a button right here you can push, and then it's going to power the seat back. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, if my six-year-old wants to get in the back, needs to climb in, he's not having to try to pull levers and shift it back. He's able to just hit the button, it slides, and then we can lift it in and push that back. Um, which is really slick, and then this is going to do the exact same thing. So, cool, good to know. I thought maybe it pulled it, but both of them do the exact same thing there. Um, you can always slide it up manually if you wanted to do that. Um, so there's a lot of different options with the seating there, and then this will fold it all the way down for you, which the seat is too far. Back. So you can see that this holds fairly nice and flat. I wonder if this lifts up all the way, does it? I don't believe so. So you're not able to pop it all the way up like you see in some Suburbans, Yukons, that type of thing, but still easy to get it out of in the third row. Um, and then just lift this back up. Close it. Again, beautiful detailing. There's a bigger cup holder and a smaller cup holder here. Which I kind of don't hate because the smaller ones are typically um, what you would see a child having for a cup holder. So maybe that was built for that. No idea. Um, but it sounds good. And then also, um, this is the minivan screen that I know Jamie loves so much. They are now bringing into SUVs as well. So recognizing that kids need some shade when they're sitting in that uh, middle row there too. So let's hop over on the other side real quick because we have a car seat in it. Um, Oh my gosh, do you smell that? Yeah. Culver's is making their french fries. It's so good. Oh, it's so, so good. Can you tell it's lunch time? Uh, okay. So let's check this out. I have not done this yet. We clipped in Jamie's car seat. And so I'm going to see what happens with it when you keep. Nope. So you cannot have the automatic seats fold. Let's see what happens if I try to push it. Okay. So. You can do it manually, which That's is awesome. That's a lot of room. That is a lot of room. Climb in there. So to be able to. <laughs> hey, you fit. Okay. So you can't do it with the power. It's not going to automatically push, but it gives you a nice little start. You hit it and then push it forward yourself and you're still able to do it. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot this has sway, by the way. Sorry, ADD squirrel, but this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. That looks so pretty. Um, okay, so yeah, tons of room, tons of space back here. There's a USB plug, two cup holders on both sides, another USB plug on that side. Um, and like I mentioned, you can clip in, or I'm sorry, tether two car seats back here. So one of these, the middle and the side one you can, um, this one you cannot. So, huh, I like it, lots of space. Okay, so plastic power lift gate. Those are always a necessity. It makes life a lot easier. Um, but as you can see, pretty decent sized storage, obviously for this size of an SUV. Um, this is about as big as you're gonna get and see. Um, there's some under storage here, which right now we've got the floor mats in here. Um, we've got a jack. So you've got some space to store some things. Um, it's plastic, so it can get wiped out very easily, which is always an added benefit. Um, I did try the double stroller in the back of one one time, and it did fit. Did it fit? Okay. It was, a, it was a little tricky, but it fit a double stroller, so a single stroller definitely will. Okay, so that's good. Yeah. Um, and then, as mentioned, you can tether in two car seats, and then here you're going to have all your power seats. So not only do you power seat the third row from here, but you can also do the second. So That's so nice. There you go. So the middle one just went down, and then obviously... Oh, that's reclining it. Okay, so you can recline it if somebody hey, wants to recline. Get fancy. Or you can. Do I have to hold it? Nope, I don't even have to hold it. It's just going to do it. Okay. Nice and flat. I like it. And also, you can choose what kind of color you want to have your ambient lighting. And purple is set on this one, which I'm actually kind of digging right now. You can change it? Yeah. Oh my God, that's awesome. I know. One thing I forgot to touch on was just the amount of space that you have back here. So this captain's chair row is extremely comfortable space-wise. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised. It feels really nice. A couple other things to point out. 
USBs right here for the people back here that they can just plug in. They don't have to bother anybody up front to plug their via, uh, plug their phones in. You also have your heated and cooled seats back here, which is really nice. And then you obviously can control your temperature. You do have an actual plug as well. So you can plug in here and then the, you know, 12 volt adapter that you still kind of see in vehicles. Um, so, and then the last thing, but definitely not least, is this beautiful panoramic sunroof. So you've got the actual one that opens right up here. And then you have this one that just has a screen that slides closed and open to allow some sunlight in, which is always, always nice. Thank you so much for checking out the Palisade with us. A few things to note that we kind of mentioned. Um, a couple things that we were kind of surprised about that when you have the car seat in the captain's seat, you can't use that automatic button to push it forward. You have to manually do it, which again, is still a huge upgrade from what they've been in the past. Oh my gosh, and you slipped back there. I was able to sit still. back there. Um, and then the other thing that was just kind of more surprising to us, based on all these tours we've been doing of the new models, is USCs are everywhere in every vehicle, and there weren't any in this one. Yeah. But plenty of USB plugins for everybody. Plenty, plenty. So that was definitely nice. And, and um, those little cons definitely are outweighed by all the pros. Oh I mean, gosh. this might be on the top of my list now. I don't know. It's fighting for it, for Interior sure. Interior styling is honestly second to none. I yes. Honestly, we haven't seen leather like that. It's that Napa leather. Yes. Um, the trim on the doors and the dash. The is suede on the top is so cool. High level luxury. Yes. It feels like you're driving a high end vehicle and you're able to get the Hyundai, which is always obviously very um, price. It's got a great price point, 49,000 for a fully, fully loaded third row SUV. Um, and you get the 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty, which is always a huge plus with Hyundai's. So yes. you get all the nice stuff for a nice price. So. And it's got 14 cup holders. Oh they don't skimp on the cup holders. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So thanks so much for checking it out with us. Let us know if you have any questions or comments.